Hi, I'm Paul Brierly. I'm Executive Director of the Yuma Center of Excellence for Desert Agriculture, and I'm also a Flynn Brown Fellow. I'm coming to you today from the University of Arizona's Yuma Agricultural Center in Yuma, Arizona. Yuma agriculture is unique and in many measures is in the top one-tenth of one percent of all counties across the United States. We do it through a combination of excellent weather that allows year-round growing, uh, excellent water rights, we have a labor source across the border, and we have actually excellent soil that is washed out from when the Grand Canyon was formed. We produce most of North America's winter leafy green vegetables, along with other crops like medjool dates, durum wheat that makes great quality Italian pasta, uh, citrus, and about 150 other crops. This is truly world-class agriculture right here in your backyard, contributing over $3 billion to Arizona's economy. The University of Arizona is Arizona's land-grant institute, which means that in addition to teaching and research, we also have a mission of outreach, bringing knowledge to the people and to the industries of Arizona. Yuma is the only place besides Tucson that all three of those missions are accomplished. The agricultural centers and the research farms provide land laboratories and indoor laboratories for both university researchers and industry to accomplish research in many of the life sciences. I have the honor of running this unique public-private partnership between the Desert Ag industry and the university. We focus on the pressing problems that they face and we hope that if we come up with usable results, they'll continue to find value in what we do. At the Yuma Center of Excellence, it's our close collaboration with our donors in the industry that keep us focused on the problems that need solving. One such donor is the Gowan Company, based right here in Yuma, Arizona. I'd like to introduce you to the CEO of the Gowan Company, Julie Jessen. Thank you, Paul. As you pick up from Paul's work, agriculture is at a phenomenal pivot. We're watching that from Yuma and identifying Gowan's role. Gowan started as a crop consultancy more than 50 years ago here in Yuma. Step by step, we've grown backward into distribution, field development, and evaluation, as you see here in this bioassay lab. We work on problems that are too narrow for the behemoths in our industry. For example, we have a project in fire blight here, an intermittent but fatal disease that affects particular crops such as apples and pears. We use this hawthorn plant in our greenhouse as an alternate host. For our work here, the most exciting digital ag field is the identification of the soil microbiome and how the 10,000 different bacteria in a handful of soil work together and work on the plant. But for us, the most pertinent of these transformations is the promise to biosynthesize our products. In this lab, as well as in our lab in Columbia, we're doing screening and development for pesticides based on microbial sources and plant extracts. Besides our conventional line, we have 10 commercial biopesticides, and we're working on dozens more at various stages from early screening to final development in this lab and our lab in Columbia. Our original plant extracts came from Columbia, where we invested and then acquired the biosolutions company Ecoflora. Ecoflora grew from identifying natural pesticides out of plants in the region and then developing these. We continued this investigation line and are now working with another investigator looking at desert plants for pesticidal activity. Now we produce the commercial product by extraction, but the reason why biosynthesis is one of the most exciting fields for us is the potential to develop a cleaner way to make these in harvesting by fermentation, hairy root culture, cell culture, or another bio biological method. We also are looking at bacterial product sources and have cooperations with experts around the world, such as um, a program we have going at the Edwin Mach Foundation in Italy. Several interdependent paths have to work together to get something to Paul's constituents and to growers around the world. Here at the U of A, we have a formulation lab dedicated to biopesticides. Keeping bacteria viable or plant extract stable on the shelf and hardy when they're sprayed on the crop is a tougher challenge than we face with our synthetics that we have, we do in a, our formulations development center in town. We need this formulation though before we can proceed to registration where EPA and its counterparts around the world assess our studies on environmental and health effects. Once the registration is underway, the field development reps work on a multi-year development plan to understand how the product can fit in production agriculture. We thank you for your interest in agriculture and in Yuma, and we hope you'll check back on our progress in a few years. Thanks.